Hello there. My name is Pharmacist Michael. Have you heard of cholestyramine? Do you know what it's for? Should you use it? Who shouldn't use it? We're going to talk about all of those things and much more in this video. So stick around. You don't want to miss this one. Welcome to Pharmacist Michael's Happy Healthy Living Channel, where you will learn how to improve your life one video at a time. What is cholestyramine? Well, it's a bile acid sequestrant used primarily for lowering cholesterol levels and treating specific conditions related to bile acid malabsorption. This can be something you could use instead of a statin if statins don't play well with your body. Cholestyramine operates by binding bile acids in the intestine, preventing their reabsorption. This process not only helps in reducing the cholesterol levels in the blood, but also aids in the management of itching associated with certain liver diseases. Cholestyramine's primary use is in the management of hyperlipidemia, specifically lowering low-density lipoprotein, or LDL, cholesterol, which is often referred to as a bad cholesterol. By binding with the acids, Cholestyramine forces the liver to use excess cholesterol to produce more bile acids. This lowers the cholesterol level in the bloodstream. This mechanism is crucial in preventing the development of atherosclerosis and subsequent cardiovascular diseases. Additionally, cholestyramine is utilized in treating pruritus, which is itching associated with partial biliary obstruction. The binding action of cholestyramine on bile acids in the gastrointestinal tract can reduce the levels of bile acids that accumulate in the skin, which are thought to cause this itching. Another notable use of cholestyramine is in the management of diarrhea resulting from bile acid malabsorption, where it helps by reducing excess bile acids in the colon. While cholestyramine is effective in managing cholesterol levels and related conditions, it is not without its side effects. Common adverse effects include gastrointestinal disturbances such as constipation, abdominal pain, and bloating. Given its mechanism of action, Cholestyramine can also interfere with the absorption of other drugs and fat-soluble vitamins, which are A, D, E, and K, and this can potentially lead to deficiency if not monitored and managed appropriately. Less commonly, individuals may experience nausea, increased liver enzymes, or hypersensitivity reactions, including rash and hives. Due to its impact on the digestive system, Long-term use of cholestyramine requires monitoring and occasionally supplementation of fat-soluble vitamins to prevent deficiencies. Okay, so who should not use cholestyramine? Well, it's not suitable for individuals with high LDL cholesterol levels who have not sufficiently responded to diet and lifestyle modifications. As we talked about earlier, it can also benefit patients experiencing itching due to partial biliary obstruction and those with diarrhea from bile acid malabsorption. But cholestyramine is contraindicated in individuals with complete biliary obstruction, where bile flow from the liver to the intestines is blocked. This is because its mechanism of action depends on binding bile acids in the intestines. Also, patients with a known hypersensitivity to cholestyramine or any of its components should definitely avoid using this medication. Due to its potential interference with the absorption of other medications, patients taking cholestyramine should carefully manage the timing of their medications, typically taking other drugs at least one to two hours before or four to six hours after cholestyramine to minimize interactions. Cholestyramine remains a valuable tool in managing high cholesterol levels and conditions related to bile acid malabsorption. Its ability to lower LDL cholesterol and treat symptoms like itching associated with liver diseases highlights its importance in therapeutic strategies. 
but its side effects and potential interactions with other medications necessitate careful consideration and monitoring by healthcare professionals. Patients and healthcare providers must work closely together to ensure that cholestyramine is used safely and effectively, tailoring treatment to the individual's specific health needs and conditions. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like more information on medications, nutritional supplements, and just how to live a happy, healthy life, please subscribe to our channel. We release a new video three times each week. My name is Pharmacist Michael. Be happy and be healthy.